Yeah, man, so my purples, my number blessed beats. I probably made a video about this before sometime, but somebody wondered about it and I wasn't sure about that. It's probably in the course even, but here's how you can automate lock states and record track mutes and whatnot. Keep in mind for this, if you export your separate groups or sounds, these automations are not gonna come with it. So this is for somebody who might want to make everything in the box, you know what I'm saying? Here we go, let's go to the machine. All right, all right. May the copyright gods be with me. Pray with me, everybody. This is a beat I made with a <laughs> eight bar straight up loop. And we're gonna make something very simple with this. First of all, we're gonna need to know how to use the lock states. I have a simple, just one scene that we're gonna use here. And I have a bunch of different groups. And with that alone, we're going to make somewhat of an arrangement. So first of all, we're gonna begin by making a bunch of different lock states. The lock states will remember every single parameter that you set it to. So hold down shift and press lock right there. And first of all, make a new one. That is gonna remember the state of every parameter, including track mutes and uh, group mutes. So right now we have one, we can press update if you make any changes to that. So one of them, this is gonna be our intro. Now let's make another one. And here we want to introduce some drums and even the bass line like that. There's the bass. All right. Um, make another one. where we introduce this little lead synthesizer thing. And then let's make another one with, uh, let's say, take that away and a different chorus part or something like that. Yet another one dropping out the drums. All right, just simple proof of concept. Now, now we can try this out just live. Right, now to the other part. First of all, you need to get this set up right. Go into settings right there. Go to MIDI and we need to have our machine plus midi on both on the input and the output also connect a midi cable standard midi cable from your in to the out so we're going to create a midi feedback here on the machine we also need to go to the second page here and at midi change we want to set this to lock so we're going to control the lock states with the midi and the trigger is going to be a note so when a MIDI note comes in, that is going to tell one of the lock states to trigger. The source needs to be set up to Machine Plus because that means the Machine Plus will be the source for the MIDI, sending it to itself. And we can set the channel to one. Now we have this empty group right here and we can actually set this pad up to send, transmit the MIDI from the machina to itself, forming some sort of highly sophisticated incest. For that, press channel, go to the right until you see MIDI right here and set the destination to Machina. Now this is gonna send MIDI from the Machina to the Machina. Now if we go to keyboard and go all the way down here so we access all the MIDI notes, these starting from the very first one will correspond to the different lock states in here. So the first pad will be one, etc. If we press this now, we should be hearing our intro. And now we can switch. All right, we have everything set up right now. If we want to sequence this, we can record this information also. Make this as granular as you want. Have lock states where you're just dropping out the drums here. It's a particular element. Uh, the reverb, wetness goes up somewhere. Anything you can imagine, you can control that from here and record it. To record this over a long pass, we're going to need to take 
one of these scenes and get them into the song mode. And to do that, all we need to do is press append and choose our scene. Press ideas up there and we should be in our song mode. Now I like to be working with patterns instead of clips most of the time. But in this case, when we're automating over a long piece, it's the clips that we're interested in. But first of all, we're going to take this scene right here and we're going to duplicate it a shitload of times and hold the first pad, the first scene and press the last one while you're doing it. That's going to cover the whole part. And now as you press shift and restart, that's going to loop that whole section. Now go out of scene there. If you have that pinned, make sure we're on the correct group here and we want to make a clip. So let's go into clip, hold this down, make a new one. We have a red clip. We can stretch the length out to cover the whole shebang. Go back out. Now oh, we need some more of that. Okay, let's try it out. Just record this. All right, so any proof that that actually worked? That is amazing. German people, you might recognize this hit. I first discovered it through Blimchen. Guilty pleasure, happy hardcore. Thank you for watching. If you really love that, you should check out my VST plugin, Humbox, that is out now. Join us in the Discord. Maybe even support me on the Patreon page, you know what I'm saying? Okay, bye-bye.